What do you see here, guys? What do you see? Depends on your experience with crypto. You either see panic, fear, oh my god, sky is falling, chicken little, everything's crashing. That's for a newbie. For a seasoned crypto person who understands how this works, this is nothing new. This is just, hey, a little, little up and down, little baby correction. Uh, I know we're at 65,000 earlier, and then last week, uh, what, 68, 69,000. ETH was at 4,900. Uh, this is just nothing. This is just a nice little a nice little dip, and I don't know. I was always told buy on the dips, right? Not financial advice, you fools. Do your own research. If you listen to me, a dude on the Internet, YouTube, you're crazy. Do your own research. But when you see these small corrections these corrections like this in a small period window you gotta you gotta you gotta stop it you gotta look at the bigger picture where were we at a month or two months ago so we're going down 7.26 percent and what i mean by that of course red is always you know oh my god i'm losing everything well you only lose if you sell or you don't you know you you, you make a realized you know, transaction but if we go over here here's bitcoin here's the history this is a three-month chart Right there is where we're at. It's going down to, what is that? That's about October. Eh, let me see if I can get a date on that. There we go. Oh, man, that's not even November 6th. We're going back a week at like November 6th prices. And we're still up from November 6th prices. So, I mean, if you're going back to September, look where it was down here. You know, you got to look at the bigger picture. Don't look at the day-to-day -day swings like this. You'll go nuts. You'll go crazy, man. Don't do it. Do not do it. All right, let's go back to the heat map. I love the heat map. I love me some heat map. I love it. Oh, everything's right. What is, I don't know. Oh, so usually when you see this, the sea of red, most things that are green have obviously, obviously things tied to the U.S. dollar, like USDC or Tether, or, uh, all that stuff. Uh, so we're down 7.38%. I'm going to watch this. My goal is to build stack. What do they call it? Stack sats, stack satoshis. It'd be nice maybe to buy in, but I don't know where yet. I'm just going to continue to watch this for a little bit. It's kind of hovering. If it, sixty thousand to me is a is a psychological level if it holds at that, and uh, we'll see what happens there. So here we go. Another day in the life of cryptocurrency, and my hunch is. My hunch is there's so many people wanting to get in this, like institutions, and there may be, I don't know if you can manipulate it at all, but I know they're waiting. They're waiting, like like Elon Musk and Tesla, back when it was in the, what, high, like low 40s or high 30s, he bought in. I don't know. I just have a feeling they wanted to come back, pull back a bit so they can buy in more, the big, uh, the big boys, the big institutions. That's just a hunch. This is all wag, wild ass gas and stuff, but that's just the way I think. You know, there's always a reason for stuff. So anyway, keep a watch on it. It's you know, it's going down 7.5 a.m. Oh, 17. It's still it's still trending downwards. So something to keep an eye on. Litecoin. Where's my little Litecoin? My nemesis. Where in the heck is that thing? 244. All right, it's above 200 at least. I hate Litecoin. I hate it, but I own a lot of it. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh my god, it was at 400 bucks. I think last year I should have dumped it. And put it all into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the king, guys. That is your store of value. So here I am watching it. Uh, just gonna. This is a good little map to go to. It is Coin360.com. You can go check out the heat map, and then also the other thing I reference a lot is Coin Market Cap. And then you can make your little watch list if you click on the Coin Market Cap. And then. I've got my little watch list right here. If you can see that, click on watch list. And there I got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, I don't own. Doge, I actually own a couple bucks, not much. Sheeb, I gen some up, mine some. Uh, I, then I, half, of the, half of that crap was taken when I transferred it to, and I was on the stupid Binance network by mistake, I was an idiot, going from uh, unminable. And then I had to get it to Binance and then back to my wallet using the ERC token uh, network. <laughs> Jesus, just take all my funds. It was ridiculous. It was a lesson. Be careful. 
what you're moving, when you're moving it, and just the fees. It's, it wasn't even, it was just worthless. It was just so frustrating. So, you know, learn from my mistakes. Don't repeat them. That's why I'm here. I make mistakes every day of my life. So here we are, Litecoin, Bat I use because I use the Brave browser. If you're not using the Brave browser, download the Brave browser, install it. It's built off Chrome. You will never have another ad and you'll get paid to look at ads. And so you build, you get paid in crypto, which is their Bat, basic authentic, attention token. And you can watch YouTube videos all the ads are gone their browser is intelligent it gets rid of all the stupid ads you can watch you don't have to be for youtube red or any of that crap screw youtube they're the enemy right now i don't know but uh you can uh, use brave and then avoid any ads on anything on most most sites mainly youtube it's beautiful all right so even even at the point i won't use the youtube app i'll use the brave app on my phone and i'll watch youtube videos through brave and that way there's no commercials no ads, stuff like that. There you go. I have Voyager token. I can talk about Voyager later. That's where I keep a lot of my crypto for getting interest, as well as BlockFi. I earn interest on all my crypto uh, better than you get at any stupid bank right now. Banks are banks are the enemy, man. They pay nothing in interest. They're almost criminals. When you go over these USDC coins and you get like 9%, you're getting 5 to 7% on your crypto. I mean, you got to stay above inflation. And they're lying about inflation. What, 7 8 No, it's more like 15%. They're, they're just lying. The, the numbers, the, it's just ridiculous. Look out for yourself. Find the best interest rates you can. And right now with Voyager and BlockFi, uh, you can do that. I just moved my crypto to both of them, you know, split them up. And I have the BlockFi Visa card as well. And I earned rewards in Bitcoin. So if you're interested on that, click on the links below. I have a little referral code that helps you. It helps me. And by helping me, it helps feed my dog. The dog was created to feed my this dog, the channel was created to help feed my little dog. He's a Min Pin Chihuahua mix, and uh, he likes a lot of food for some reason, but he doesn't get fat. So I figured, dude, little doggy, little doggy, I'm going to make you a YouTube channel, name it after you. And if people will click on the links and give me some referral bucks, a couple dollars here and there adds up to buy you some more biscuits. All right, that's my rant. That's my uh, soapbox for help my doggy. Okay, oh, eight minutes, almost eight minutes on the video. So anyway, here's my two little things I look at my day-to-day. -day. In general, if I'm not interested in buying any crypto, I won't look at the stuff because you go nuts. I think for this past summer, I didn't look for like a couple months and it's fine. It's like, oh, hey, there's where it's at. Okay, it didn't really go up and down or do anything. Didn't really worry me much. So if you're gonna look at day-to-day, -day, you're gonna go nuts. So we're saying we're still kind of chiming down a bit. I'm watching that 60,000 level. And uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll buy some more. I don't know yet. I don't know. Just just for entertainment, right? Don't listen to me. I'm an idiot on YouTube. But don't listen to anybody. You got to do your own research. It's your money. No one's going to give your money back if you lose it. It's your money. Do your own research. <laughs> I mean, and don't don't put any more money in than you're willing to lose. This is gambling in a way too. But eh, you never know. But you can, put it in a bank account. You're losing it right there. at Eight percent. If you have a you know put a thousand and thousand bucks in the bank just on a money market you're losing money because the in inflation it's crazy times man crazy all right that's all i got i am watching my 370 ti gpu i just hooked that puppy up and he is eh, he's getting about 45 hash that's fine if i crank it any higher and it goes any higher in the wattage it can kind of just turns up so i'm happy with that it's giving me something for the eh, well i get an roi on it i don't care it's more of a hobby right now and maybe I do well one day. The one thing I have a question for whoever watches these videos, if anyone, is uh, I have a lot. I, I, I've been uh, mining Ethermine. So Ethermine, my pool, that's where a lot of my money is. I'm waiting for my payout. I set my payout fee to 40 GUI because I'm not paying hundreds of, you know, tons and tons of bucks. Again, with this crap, this damn Ether, Ethereum network crap, these fees will, are horrible just to move money. But... Um, it's driving me nuts. Anyway, so I'm holding at 40. I'm, I'm making a t-shirt. Hold at 40. 40 for life. 40 gui for life. I'm not paying any more than that. And uh, I'm just waiting and waiting. It's been, it's been almost a month. I'm just still waiting for the payout. Uh, one thing I like is I've been mining ETH hash uh, and going to uh, Nice Hash. And I forget what that one is. I, I can just do another video on that. But I just uh, run, I run uh, T Rex. Or MB mine or whatever, and then you think I dagger. I forget what it is, what pull it is, 
uh, Dagger Moto, I forget. I'll have to look it up. And uh, basically it mines over to nice hash here. I could probably show you this. And there. I got four rigs running. I was playing with some names. So they're unmanaged, meaning because I'm running them from my command line on Windows. And it, I'm just going to their pool. And then they're there running right now. They show their mining. Shows me how much Bitcoin I have, how much I'm making. Uh, it's in next payouts in progress. Uh, so I got four, four rigs up and running. One other rig I have going right to Ethermine yet. So once I get a payout on Ethermine, I think I'm just going to switch it all over to um, NiceHash for now. And just keep you know mining ETH and getting that sweet Bitcoin. I just we're at our Bitcoin because I've been Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the king to me, and my goal in doing all this anyway was to stack Satoshis and get a bunch of Bitcoin and just say, hey, I have this many, and I'm happy with that. And then go back and start looking at the other stuff once uh, Ethereum ETH hash goes away. Oh, there we go. It corrected. So I'm at 404. There we go. So look, I'm at current profitability is 26 bucks a day. And that's just a hodgepodge of GPUs. All right, that's all I got. Little day in the life of uh, crypto, crypto watching and what I do. And uh, try not to, if you're, if you're one of these guys freaking out over Sea of Red, oh, it's back up 60. Oh, it's hovering about 7.6%. If you're one of those guys that freaks out over swing, price swings movement movements, do not, do not fall into that. Uh, just go to the, these sites, click on Bitcoin, go to the graph, kablammo. Now this is for the day, don't freak. And I always go, even go one month. Look at that, you're still kind of just tracing back to, what is this date? 11.6 again. There you go, you're still, now let's go back three months. Kablammo, we already did this. So look, you're way up, dudes, unless you bought, I mean, if you bought here, well, you just, I don't know what to do. You figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Hold it or you got to do what you got to do sometimes. But uh, I never incur a loss if I don't have to. All right. Good enough. Not financial advice again, but my dog would never do that. Um, all right. But let's see. I did sell Tesla. I had Tesla stock. I was way up. I sold my cost basis because Musk comes out and tweets like a fool, right? He comes out and all of a sudden people are freaking out he's going to sell stock and it causes the thing to start crashing after all time highs. God, come on, man. We're just little people in the gutters trying to make a couple bucks. Arms for the poor type crap. And here he comes opening his big mouth on Twitter. I'm like, oh, please. So I saw it dropping and dropping last week and I sold my cost basis and left the profits in there. So I'm playing with house money now, uh, which is fine. I feel good. I got my money out. And same with Coinbase. I bought right when it came out and I've always been down and down and it kind of, I was a little bit negative on it, maybe under a thousand. I said, I'm out, I'm out. And right that day, I swear to God, right after I dumped it, it dropped 40% due to me. They didn't meet the revenues or something. I said, the little, a little guy told me to sell it in my ear or something. You know, my gut said, get rid of that. And I'm glad I did. So I'm actually looking at maybe when Tesla goes up or down or down again, get back in or maybe, um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA makes GPUs. And I never made that correlation. I'm such an idiot that, wow, why not buy NVIDIA stock? Because you know who else owns NVIDIA? Pelosi. And she has all that inside information on when to buy stocks and stuff with her hedge fund husband. So here's a civil servant. She's worth multi-millions. Go figure, right? So instead of complaining about them, follow what they do. Hey, she bought Tesla. And then uh, she owns a lot of NVIDIA. And she has a spot price that's 400 bucks. I think that's come and do. Uh, I don't mess with that crap. I just buy, buy and sell <laughs> at market. All right, I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. A little day-to-day, -day, kind of a longer video instead of those little shorties. I like the shorties because it's just fun. But hope you learned something. Hope I learned something. Again, it's kind of exciting watching this going down. Oh, we're going down more. So, I mean, I could just leave this on live stream. We could just watch this together. That's pretty sad. Go out and talk to your family or go to bed. <laughs> All right. All right, I got to find that dog again. Where's that dog? All right, I got to find him, take him out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.